Howdy folks, Rock the Duck Farmer here, and I'm playing on the FTOG server, doing a little Feed the Beast Stone Block 3, and it's time to get our... <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it's time to uh, get into the power mod, and there are some really cool things in here. I've, I, I enjoy this mod. I... I don't tend to get into it very often, but uh, we're going to get into it this pack. So I think let's take a quick look in here. Uh, there's stuff I want to jump into. I want to make a thermal generator as a way of getting some better power gen than the thermoelectric ones that I have upstairs. Uh, I definitely need an energizing rod or several of them, an energizing orb for making other things. And we're going to need lots and lots of uh, various bits and pieces that the uh, energizing orb will do. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at some of this stuff, uh, like the energizing orb glass. I got dielectric rods. Now, that's something new. Uh, we need dielectric paste, and that's something that we don't have much of. Well, let's let's. First, let's click in here so we can look at this stuff. Let me talk about storage because I've got a, a big update here. Uh, it was pointed out that I don't need to connect to anything other than the storage controller because it connects to all the rest of my drawers. And I thought that was great. And then these are in order in that I've got the modular storage here. I've got all my diamond chests for accessing stuff. And I also have an obsidian chest that's not in the list. This is where I'm putting stuff in here that I don't want to get lost. Uh, because as near as I can tell, if I make something that uses a tank, it may eat one of my tanks containing stuff, which is bad. And if I happen to have some weapons with spells that I don't want to get eaten, I'm going to throw them into my obsidian chest. I'm also not looking at my botany pot, my uh, ender chest, or the roost. I don't see the reason for it. Uh, oh, wrong thing. This one. Uh, the thing that was the most interesting is realizing that I, I know I can check and uncheck to make them routable. But there's this option here to remove the inventory from the list. And that's what I did. I didn't realize that I could do that. I rarely use this mod, but I'm enjoying it. So I went ahead and removed all the bits that I don't need. So now I just have these items. That's it. I don't have anything else. And they get sorted in the order in which they do. I've got a much reduced uh, radius, so I'm not picking up extraneous bits. I'm liking this. Will I go to AE2 or refined storage? Quite, quite possibly. But until I really, really need that, I'm going to stick with this. All right, enough of that stuff. Uh, let's take a look at uh, this uh, dielectric paste and this. So let's go ahead and make a stack of that. Let's make two stacks of that because I'm thinking we're probably going to be using a lot of it. And let's see, I need to make some of these. So let's go ahead. What do you mean I don't have any iron bars? Okay, I've got some iron bars uh, that give me some of these. Uh, I'm going to take half of these. There we go. So now I got 16 and 16 because sometimes you need one or the other. Uh, let's take a look at the dialect. Hasten. Yeah, see, that's where I mentioned that you need to, <laughs> some of the horizontal and vertical. So we got that. Uh, I need one of these, four of these and one of these. I think that makes six of these casings. So let's make six of them. Uh, four and two more. All right, nice. Uh, I think that's enough to make this guy. So there's my energizing orb. Let's look at the... Skip that one. Yeah, uh, I don't have any basic capacitor tinies. Uh, let's make some of these. That will make four of them. All right. Uh, let's do two of those. And I think I need to take some of these and turn them into tinies. All right, uh, back to this. I need to make four of these. I don't, I don't have enough of something. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, for some reason it didn't make the fourth one. That's okay. Uh, we got that now. Let's take a look at the this guy. I think I've got. Oh, nope, I'm missing one of these. 
stop that. Okay, so now I've got a pair of these little guys. Uh, if we look back at this, go to crafting. Uh, what am I missing? What do you mean? These are tiny. I've got the tiny. Basic capacitor tiny. Basic capacitor tiny. That should work. I've got that there. Oh, okay. So now I realized I need these thermo pastes. Oh, thermo plate. All right. Let's look at thermo plate. What do you... Oh, that's going to be some more tinies. Well, that's going to eat up two of the tinies I've got. Let's make one more tiny. Uh, I'm going to need to make one more tiny. All right. Oh, I need three of those. Got three of those. I think I've got enough for that guy. I do. Okay, so uh, let's get rid of these guys out of the list. I've got my thorough generator, my four energizer rods, and an energizing orb. Alrighty, uh, let's collect. Nope. I Yes, I do want this. I want nine of these. All right, let's come over here to where I've been doing some stuff. And uh, notice that I have no energy whatsoever. Zero. Uh, that's because I decided to feed one of these nitro batteries for fun. All right, uh, let's... That's a decent amount of power coming in, which is cool. All right, we'll, we'll go with that. All right, so here's what I've got my little setup here. If I figured this out right, I've got a little lava egg because uh, we need heat and water to make the, the generator do its thing. And there's the water coming in. And you can see up there it's generating 20 Fe is what it's doing. And so that should also be going in here. Cool beans. And I'm going to put down the energizing orb up here. And let's take these guys. And I'm going to put them. I have to click them against this. I wonder if they will all be able to see this energizing orb. I think so. I'm going to go ahead and put in a blaze rod into there. Not the osmium compressor. There we go. Yes, all four of them, they got the little laser zapping at it, which is cool. All right. And that's going to take, uh, oh, oh, it's saying right there, 90k to make that work. So um, that's doing 90K. Now, if we look at this, this is generating 20 Fe a tick uh, because I've got lava underneath. I could put a magma block underneath, but that will only generate 16 RF a tick. And I played with this in creative uh, in a single player word so I could verify what, what it works and does. And looking at this, I figured 100% with lava or 80% of the power with a magma cube. I'll go with the lava, thank you very much. But there's one better than that, and that's what I'm making here first. Since I've got the blaze rods and I've got the power coming in, I decided to go ahead and make a blaze crystal. What's this? This is the blazing crystal, and I want to sit there and make a block of this. So it's going to take a few seconds as I generate this, and I'll be right back. And there is number nine. So let's drop that into here and make a block of blazing crystal. All right. Oh, yeah, I was sick and tired of running back over there. I went ahead and made three of these and there's jack-o'-lanterns underneath the crafting station because they leak light. So it's nice and bright. I like it. All right. Uh, the reason why I wanted to make this uh, block of blazing crystal is because that's better. That's uh, we're down to zero FE. Drop that in there. Now we're up to 56 Fe instead of 20. This is 280% better than the lava. So yes, so I'm going to go with that. Thank you very much. Uh, that, that's a much better deal. Now, is this the only way to use this uh, thermo generator? Because 56 Fe, yawn, that's not much. However, there is something we can do with these. We can upgrade this with a few other bits, and now we've got the basic, and this will generate 60 times 280%. And that one, we can upgrade with some energized steel and more bits, and that will make the thermo generator that's hardened, that generates 100 FE, which would be 280 if I 
got that. Anyway, this one upgrades to Blazing, upgrades to Niotic, to Spirited, and finally to Nitro, which is the, the last one. And that's 2k a tick. Well, if I'm doing it with the uh, the, the, the Blazing um, block underneath, that's, what, 5.6k a tick? That's a much better deal. So I'm going to go ahead and, and slowly grind this up. Uh, but that also means I'm going to have to upgrade a few of these things. Like, for example, these rods, there's there's all sorts of these rods, and they all have different uh, versions, and they transmit a little bit faster power. And believe me, that's going to take a while with some of these. So this is just a whole bunch of, of grinding out the upgrades. So I need two of these plates, more capacitors, this. All of this stuff I've got, that's not a problem. Uh, let's look at the next one. This needs energized steel, which of course is an energizing thing. Gold and iron will give me two of these energized steel plus power. And there's a lot of these recipes here. If I hit you on this, okay, hit you over here. There's a lot of these recipes that I just add a bunch of different items and power and it's going to generate things for me. And so that's why I'm setting this up. And I think maybe something that I'll be able to pull the items out would be good. Would you like to automate making these items? Well, especially the, the, the basic ones are pretty easy to make. Uh, these things here, I'm talking about the energized steel, the blazing crystals, the niotic and the spirited and nitro crystals. All of those are fairly easy to make. Now, this setup right here is how to do one at a time, one item, like turning a diamond into the, what is it, niotic? Niotic, yes, and then the emeralds going into the spirited. Uh, so I've got my energized orb, I've got two hoppers pointing into it on, on either side. Uh, right now I'm only going to be using one. Here, let's lock this, and I will toss in my diamonds. And I'll toss in my emeralds. No, I'll just toss in the, the a di uh, two diamonds. It's demonstration time. Okay, so uh, I've got a comparator pointing away from the energizing orb. And that's going into a redstone repeater, which loops back to a repeater pointing to the hopper. And as soon as I turn off, let's come down here. Yeah. Do you need to use blocks of emeralds? <laughs> no, I'm being silly. Uh, so let's take a, a look. And so keep your eye here on the energizing orb. I want one and only one uh, diamond to go in there. Because if, if I get two, the, the it won't charge up. So keep your eye. You're on it. Just one. And so that locked because as soon as the comparator got that signal, it locked. Ah, <laughs> jump up here. And this is charging up and it's 300K. So that's much more than the other ones that I needed. So that's 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 the issue here. Now, as soon as this charges up down below, I've got my item pipe going into a chest down here and the the stuff just drops right into here which is fine and i i put a pipe in here uh, or an upgrade up into my pipe thinking i'd want to do some some settings but it won't pull unless it's ready it's it's a crafted item so you, you saw that little blink there a few seconds back where it switched from diamond to the niotic crystal and since that was a result it instantly got slurped up and, and sent away and the next one went in which is super, super great. Now, as soon as this is done, I'll show you how to set this up so that it will do... Well, actually, there's nothing here. I don't care. I will break this, and I'll show you how to set this up for doing two, which is, you know, I've got my golden iron here. And for that, first you want to turn on and lock it so nothing can go in, neither of the hoppers can. In one, you dump in all your iron, and in the other, you dump in all your gold. Ready? So now when you put in or unlock it, uh, it will put in one gold and one uh, iron ingot, which will be sufficient for this comparator to now output a signal, which instantly will turn on and do all the rest. So ready? Click. And it locked. And this is pretty fast. And I'm done. <laughs> do you want to feed this all by yourself? I sure don't. <laughs> I don't want to feed it by myself at all. So let's put these back here, this one back here, 
and I'm going to feed in my diamonds and my emeralds and the nitro crystals to make that you need all four of those devices. Well, I'm probably not going to be making vast quantities of these, so I'll just do this manually. Well, it's the next day, and there's been a few changes here, but I'm really liking this generator. Uh, let's take a quick look. I got it up to the top, the nitro, and it's, well, you can't see it now, but it's been generating 5.6k a tick, which has been very nice. Uh, that just, my, my system is full. Uh, my battery here with the uh, 2 billion <laughs> FE in there, that's full. And so I, I removed all the little setup for, for automating stuff. And I moved my uh, rods up here. Uh, I, I could make a fifth one. I just made the four. Let's hop up. Yep. And these guys are all the neotic or niotic. There's another tier higher, the spirited, and then there's the nitro. But because these have higher IOs than, than these guys, uh, they, they do 20k a tick on each face and these do 10 i didn't see the the need to upgrade these higher especially when they're working really really fast so uh here's here's my uh energizing orb going into a chest i already had and i've been building a few things this is a trapped chest you can tell by that little red around here so i have a little signal here for turn off when it's powered that stops this from transmitting stuff i can load this with things and then it will go uh, into the orb when i close this which is very handy but i don't really see the need to to do anything other than manual feeding of items because here's the emerald which is fairly slow and that's pretty fast <laughs> so and the other ones are even faster still so i look at that and i go yeah i can manually feed this uh, as necessary but Let's go in here and I'm going to grab you. Let's feed you in here. And oh, that one's done. Next feed. You can move over to here. See, notice nothing's happening until I close it. I like that little trick. And last you. Put you in there. Da -doop. Zap. <laughs> it's super, super fast. So now I've got four each of the high, medium, and low covalence dusts. Uh, so that piece is done. And then I was sitting there thinking, well, if I've got this, what can I make with these guys? Well, the answer is uh, this. I can make the alchemical chest. Now, that requires obsidian chests. I've I've got all the bits for that. That's that's not a problem. Uh, the diamond lattice. That's diamond and netherite scrap, which I've got, so that's okay. I just made these bad boys. This is just any stone. Amethyst bronze. Well, that's funky. If we pour this out, look at the casting. Here's the melting. No, we want alloying. So a amethyst shard, one of those gems, plus a copper ingot, gives us the molten amethyst bronze. Easy. All right, let's run over here. And I think I've got, yep, I've got all the, the stuff I need here to make four. Uh, one, a two, a three, and a four. So now I've got a temple chests. So, oh, why am I doing all this? Because I want to do stuff with the Philosopher's Stone. So let's make one of those. And, uh, well, what can we do with the alchemical chests? Well, it's a chest like any other chest, but that's, and this doesn't help much because these are all chest recipes. But if I take a look at the energizing, okay, now this is more interesting here. I can make the energy condenser, the matter relay one and the energy collector. So let's go ahead and do these things. So if we look at Let's go zinc and zinc, and I'm going to go ahead and keep one just for fun. So let's go ahead and make this guy. And now you can see why I have it set up like this. Zow. This is the part where you go pzow. What's missing? All right, all right. What am I missing? 
What happened to my... Oh, my alchemical chest was missing. So, okay. In you go. Um. Done. <laughs> it's all finished. Uh, so now I've got an energy collector Mark 1. Alright, let's go ahead and grab that. And you... Dump that in. Make. <laughs> and it's a super small amount of energy to make these. This one, on the other hand, uh, requires a little bit more. Now, where did I get the red matter and dark matter? I, I could make those. and They're not all that hard now that I've got the Philosopher's Stone. I could sit there and, and make those. However, these all came from the loot bees flying by, and they occasionally dropped these. And do I need two of these? I think I only need one. Let me look at this energy condenser. Yeah, I only need one block of matter. Uh, why do I have two? Can I unconstruct you? Oh, good. Yes. All right. I messed that up. Let's put that in there. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this guy. And this one should take a little bit more power to, to generate. I messed up somewhere. What did I mess up? Dark matter block? Dark matter block. There we go. I should say howdy to there. Stop. Boom. Done. And now I have my energy condenser, which means now I'm really cooking with gas. So what I can do with these guys is make some good EMC making stuff. So here is my quick and dirty little EMC generating setup <laughs> just for lack of a better way of saying it. Is this the most efficient? I make no claims whatsoever for that. But this will do me for right now. So I've I got my Hubble Gen Tier 5 underneath here, and it's just shoving in cobble as fast as the box can can take it. So that's fine. I also went ahead and plugged in there a netherite nugget as the goal for this to manufacture. So as soon as this gets to the, what is it, uh, 5,500 um, EMC, then it will go ahead and generate a nugget. And when it generates a nugget, why did you go disappear? Uh, when it generates a nugget, and I'll put one, can I not put one? Oh, I can't put one in. Uh, when it generates a nugget, that goes into here through the little cable, and that feeds my relay. Let's just stick in a nugget, stick in a nugget, stick an entire ingot in there. Uh, if I stick a second ingot, because it, it, it can't consume enough and fill this up, I guess it's not doing anything. Uh, anyway, uh, on top of it, I've got my energy collector, which is doing nothing, and a glowstone on top of that, so it's got max light which means this is producing EMC as fast as possible, which is why the numbers are going up here. So again, is this the fastest way of getting EMC? No, <laughs> but this will definitely work. And it's passive. It's just generating. Uh, so the, the thing I want to do is I want to make some fine stars here, and that's going to take a little bit of work. Oh, I need some diamonds. Let's get some diamonds. Um... A diamond. Uh, do you need? Nope, that's just collecting, combining, combining, combining. Okay, yeah. So let's run back over to here because uh, what I need to do is U plus four makes the red alchemical coal, and then these red alchemicals, four of them together, makes the Mobius fuel, and let's come into here I can sit there and say I want Mobius fuel oh it won't let me make Mobius no it will let me make it oh, oh but that automatically got fed into here <laughs> um, let's uh nope yep yep and that did get fed in all right let's take let's feed fill this thing up so it's it's stopping consuming my stuff go all right uh, so now when this makes more fuel and I want to save that and not touch it let's feed it some some EMC uh, I don't think I can input now now I'm trying to think 
All right, let's just grab some more netherite nuggets because I've got the chicken. It, it makes me lots. <laughs> so, uh, and let's say hi to Bethan. Uh, all right, because, uh, you know, it's nice to be nice. Uh, let's come back here. Can I use you to generate? No, let's take you out. Nope. There we go. Now it's generating me the fuel that I want. Perfect. It really needs to be in that first slot. Wow, that's a lot of fuel really fast. <laughs> so, um, you know, am I that worried too much about, you know, generating this stuff? No, no, not uh, not really at all. Uh, let's make one of these beasties. It was you surrounded by a diamond, and that will give me the Kleinstar Ein. Okay, so if I put you in here as my target now, target, there we go, it should consume these things. Uh, the, the, the cobble goes in fast enough, it, there is no making it. So, oh, the, the Klein stars, they, they're getting shoved into here. Oh, <laughs> let's grab these things. All right, I want four of these Klein stars, which I've got more <laughs> than enough. And that gives me the Zwei. So let's drop that into here. And I want you to start generating that. Stop it with the cobble. <laughs> uh, drop you in there, and you in here, and you in there. And oops. close. I can't drop this in because I think it's already that. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to drop this fuel in. Because I have a lot of that fuel. Did I get... I've got two, I've got three. I need just a, one more. Is that sufficient? Nope. Fine. Just go ahead and make me a bunch more. So now I've got four of these guys. And you can just see, you know, how I'm, I'm going to do this. Where I'm just feeding it uh, EMC to generate more of these uh, star fragments. And yeah, we're, we're full here. That's okay. You can go in there. You can go in there. And I'm going to have to do something here to get rid of the cobble. <laughs> All right. Did you generate? I've got two. I need a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I need uh, some more heavy hitters. Let's grab some netherite. Hey, I wonder if I have a chicken here that... Oh, it does. <laughs> I could hook the chicken up to this. And that's, that's one way of, of generating a lot of, of EMC. But again, like I said, quick and dirty, quick and dirty. That's all I'm really doing right at this point. Okay, now I've got five of these because I can count. And there's four. So uh, I'm, I'm going to sit there and generate for me uh, the... This, the Kleinstar Omega, just because I can. And then I'm going to pump some EMC into that because if I put this guy here, that fills up with EMC. Will that get lost when it's combined? I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this until I've got me... Uh, let's see, fear, I fear. Sphere, and then that. So yeah, we're, we're, we're close. This is just too slow. <laughs> It's taking way too long to feed up my my Klein Star Omega here. You can see it's tick, 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 because it's generating slow. It feeds it slow. Uh, yes, it does. It did keep the EMC that I had fed it as I built up, which is very very nice. But if I drop in, it just takes a while, and I don't like that. So, uh, time to upgrade these things. Let's grab this guy, and this is what I need to upgrade to the Mark II. So let's do that. Zap. Done. And hey, if I've got a Mark II, why don't I upgrade that to the Mark III? Why not? <laughs> Zap. Okay, so now I've got the, the Mark III. This should generate EMC much, much faster. 
And yeah, look at that going in. It's it's going in much, much faster. So that's that is that is good. But let's take you out of here. Break you be break you because now we can make a mark two of my relay. Zap. And if I make it a mark two, I might as well make a mark three. And I'm gonna keep in here some items that I'm generating. Uh, just so that I can I can remake them. Yeah. I I don't have the full table yet, so I can't put you there. Yes, yeah, see, that's much nicer. It's going up faster. It's got much more storage. Oh yeah, that feeds much better. Oh yeah, that that that's a that's a much nicer setup here. Does it have the same bug? It does. It doesn't autofill. Which would be nice, but it doesn't. Anyway, so um, I could sit there and feed this. This is ten times faster than the last setup, which is which is handy. Oh, here, let's just feed it some more. So this definitely works nicely, but yeah, uh, it, it is going to take its time. So this is going to generate for me red matter, and I want to put that in here. So I've got some of these for any other crafting. I just come into here put whatever I want to craft, feed it some EMC, and I've got lots and lots of netherite that's fairly high. Uh, do I have other things that are higher? Probably. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, so, and I, I could look, but I'm lazy. So anyway, this is this is going to go ahead and feed up my uh, uh, client star. And why am I doing that? Well, because I want to sit there and make this iron band. Okay. And then I want to stick this iron band in here. And that will make Swift Wolf's Mending Rending Gale. It's hard to see with the the lines, the black lines cutting through. All right, so let's take that. I've got a ring of power, and if I... There's no EMC to do anything with that. But if I grab this boy, and I think I can put him into... I can. Now... It's consuming EMC, but also I've got flight, <laughs> which again is consuming EMC, but that's okay because I've got really huge amounts and I'm waiting for this to go down some. It's not going down any that I can see. Okay. 129, 129. As near as I can see, it doesn't look like it's consuming any EMC. Uh, that's amazing. All right. Well, um, because I can, I, I want to fill this up as much as I can. I It's just stored EMC. I can use this later. In fact, um, I should be able to use this as a battery. I don't want to stick it in here because I don't want to lose it. <laughs> but it, it wouldn't be able to feed up all this anyway. But I, I it's just EMC, and I, I can fill that up. In fact, I'm going to grab some more netherite. But what i got, I've got flight. I love flight. Here, let's just grab a big stack of that. Um, Hey, netherite chicken. You get back in there and start making me more EMC. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is nice. Uh, so, yeah, I can just go think. There's 10 million. How much does this hold? Uh, probably a heck of a lot more than the uh, the 10 million here. I've got EMC for days. <laughs> well, I, I think this was very successful. Uh, yeah, like I said, is this the most efficient system? No, I'm sure I could devise something better than this, but it's working for what I need until I get the, the actual table and, and other bits um, but I was I was surprised how fast it was to go from Mark 1 to 2 to 3. It just needed some dark matter and red matter, and mm, that's pretty easy to do. So, all right. Well, uh, now that I've got flight, uh, I'm not worried about going out to the end. I don't worry about fall damage. I can do and build and, and do stuff like that. I really, really like creative flight. It just unleashes a lot of possibilities 
And so now I'm kind of thinking, what do I want to build? Hmm. Hmm. I, I don't know. <laughs> if you want, you could suggest things in the, the, the comments. Uh, I've got a couple ideas of, of stuff I could build, but I need to clear out a large space to build some big things in. Because building's fun. Anyway, <laughs> this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here on the FTOG server playing Feed the Beast Stoneblock 3 and having a blast with this uh, Project E stuff and flight. I love flight. <laughs> and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.